Waikiki being probably the most unique surf destination, obviously because of the landscape behind you and Diamond Head and the birthplace of modern surfing, right? So it kind of holds some kind of significance in gathering, right? It was the original gathering place that everybody came here, saw the whole act of riding waves and then took everything else around the world and took the Hawaiian style of surfing with them. But it all started right there. My mentor was Donald Takayama, that was his spot, right? So by nature, I'm gonna end up at El Moana. I mean, you can get a wave here on occasions in the winter, but for the most part, it's like trying to run a contest at Pipeline in June. You know, your odds are looking pretty slim. But we lucked out. There was enough wrap from the north swell. It was a little waist high, a couple chest high waves, so. Fourth one? Yeah, fourth or fifth. Fourth or fifth, very cool. It started on its own. It was a bunch of the competitors in our contest were starting to make their boards again. It was becoming kind of a thing that was regular for a lot of the top guys that were winning. And then we just figured, you know what, maybe we should kind of create a festival based around what they're all doing and having success with. Because building boards did kind of create the entire surf industry, so to kind of put a little something back in that area is smart. That was it, that's what this is. Can't always take, gotta give. Excited to be premiering this project that me and Dave Malcolm, tall human being standing next to me, have worked on all year. I'm gonna stop talking, let's just play this.